January 2023 update on all things happening in AI from the news to accounts and YouTube videos to watch and follow to tools and uh, let's just jump right to it and and the biggest news of, of the last few weeks has been Microsoft in talks with you know investing 10 billion for a certain percentage the deal isn't that intuitive I saw this image here floating around about how the deal works and how OpenAI pays back Microsoft. The deal isn't straightforward. It's, it, it isn't like 10 billion to own 49% or however much. The details aren't extremely clear and it's because I think they've been in talks for a while and I don't know the details, but the big important thing is Microsoft is getting a big, uh, um, stronghold foothold with chat gpt open ai and uh which is going to lead us to this uh timeline here of uh microsoft's history with ai and launching real ai products for people to use it's not as if google and apple aren't using ai but it's one thing to have consumers using it like us uh with chat gpt uh and yeah and and uh github copilot so they've they've been around since uh, they you know they've been doing projects and I think here they built exclusively in 2020 uh, a supercomputer for OpenAI and actually uh, you know there's some more details in this video I'm gonna click over to next uh, about that um, <clears throat> GitHub launches Copilot in 2021 so if you haven't heard of GitHub Copilot it's a um, it's a uh, AI pair program pair, pair programmer. Basically, you can uh, auto complete code in your IDE. So, uh, imagine ChatGPT in your code. ChatGPT does do code, uh, but I've seen people use this a little bit more. But the the point is, uh, Microsoft has been in the um, this arena and has proven useful with. Uh, AI tools for end users like you and me. Um, so uh, here's the big big announcement, right? Like, no one uses Bing, nobody. But if Bing had ChatGPT and you know allowed images and videos and expanded it, can I see a future where we all use Bing? Maybe. Um, that's not the the play that they've called out. That just seems like the, you know, everyone's calling, you know, ChatGPT the Google killer. Um, we'll see. Um, so, you know, there's already announced in October 2022, they announced Dolly into Azure OpenAI. Uh, so Dolly's like an image creation. You, you've probably seen a lot of this on the web. Um, sounds like they're maybe integrating that into some of their platforms, like Bing Image Creator. Pretty, pretty, I mean, they're clearly going on offense. And that's the big thing in my mind about what's going on lately is Google just seems asleep at the wheel. Google does have AI products more powerful, but when we go through their Twitter account in a second, we're, it just, and their announcements, it just seems bleak to me, but I wanna be surprised. So there's this really good video that came out uh, recently, uh, Wall Street Journal, where uh, uh, Sate Nandela from the Microsoft C CEO uh, talks about future plans. And, uh, you know, he, he's just going on. And by the way, I'll have all these links in the, uh, in the video notes. He's just going on about how he's going to integrate all this, how he's very excited about what he's seeing. And uh, just uh, the future and how the optimism here. And, and really the clear thing to me here is he is going on offense. There's no, like he, he, he is really leading tech and it, it's pretty impressive to see uh, it being so uh, front and center for Microsoft. So uh, imagine, imagine, uh, you know, my, I, I, I don't really use Windows operating systems but I do use Windows tools uh, at work and, you know, in in life. Uh, and, you know, imagine ChatGPT being integrated into Excel, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, 
uh, Microsoft Teams. Like, it's it and your operating system. I mean, that would be kind of weird to have a AI operating system, but would it be? Um, so this seems like a direction, you know. And uh, some some key things he says uh, that I I really thought was pretty cool. He highlights how. Um, you know, the, the world of automation. Um, Andre Karpathy, uh, Nandela calls out, who is the uh, gentleman who <clears throat> created the, uh, a, like he led the charge on uh, Tesla's autopilot. And he called out that, you know, this person, uh, Andre uses GitHub Copilot for 80% of their code. So let's just put that into perspective. 80% of code is coming from an AI tool to build AI, which is the Tesla Autopilot. We're getting pretty close to 100%. So uh, we'll, we'll talk more about Andre and uh, what, you know, what, what he does, So um, which will lead us here. There's this really, uh, I haven't finished it yet, but um, he, Andres Karpathy's YouTube, he's literally showing you how to build Ch chat GPT from scratch. I, uh, you know, some of you probably won't, may, this may be more technical, but like this, I mean, he's literally getting into the code and it's for free. Um, and what better person to be talking about AI than the person who literally built and, or I mean, I know, literally, but like led the charge on Tesla autopilot. So it's just, um. It's pretty, uh, this is a pretty cool video that dropped recently, a day ago for me. Um, so definitely gonna check that one out. Okay, so let's talk about Google. All right. I saw this tweet drop and I'm like, dude, I, I just, I don't know if this is like a, how do I say, a misleading thing, but like no one cares about research, like progress in Google AI models could be like like this is uh i don't know if i'm missing something but like this isn't that impressive when you see what other tools are doing um maybe i'm missing something i went to this blog uh google research blog research like i i, I can't really hear about research when you there's products out there making money and 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 changing the way uh, engineers and professionals and heck, anybody who uses a computer or tech or anything works. Um, so to me, Google is just not, it's just, there's, it's not there. I don't, I don't, I, I, I can't imagine, they're not sitting on their hands. Um, so there's this tweet and by uh, this gentleman, I'll put, he also tweets about great things. Um, uh, uh, about AI, about the code red Google put out, whether it was unwarranted and and if it was um, worth it or not. So let's let's kind of go through it. Uh, you know, Google. Wh what? Let's start with unwarranted, meaning like, did Google really uh, need to call out a code red? Um, no, because they have more research expertise. This is true. Their Palm um, AI has a, way more parameters than ChatGPT. Uh, it's tr it has more data than ChatGPT is at. Uh, so th that makes sense. I'm not exactly sure what they use it for, but we know Google's been in the AI game for a while. Okay, they have more operational hardware expertise, uh, more data, that's very fair. More users, four billion, that's, that's a lot. I didn't know it was that high. Uh, chat isn't search. AI hallucination, hallucin hallucination is unreliable, 10x latency. I mean, I I see where this is going. Chat isn't search. Um, but, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, you know, y you don't need to search if in a chat you're getting all your results. Uh, panicking. Google employees distract. Okay, distracting. Sure. Uh, 
AI is a feature, not a product. Like Google Plus, it's hard to win with reactive clone. That's true. Like, can you imagine uh, tomorrow Google comes out with Google GPT or something? Like, <laughs> I just, uh, I don't see it. I, I, if it's better, I mean, I think we'd all use it, but I don't know. Google Plus may have been better than Facebook at that time, but it just didn't, you know, do it. Okay, so... Okay, how about, let's talk about, was it worth it for their code red? Chat eliminates links. This is the big, big ticket item. A hundred billion dollar ad revenue for Google ads a year. Their business is in clicking links that are ads. And if, if ChatGPT replaces that, then, you know, uh, th that's a huge, <laughs> You know that's that's a huge hit to their cash cow. AI generated spam just got 100 x easier to make. That's fair. Google search is already dying. Yes, I've heard people who say I don't Google search anymore. I go on TikTok to get all my information. Hey, if you want a recipe, go to TikTok. Just watch the videos. Why why go through text? Uh, any non-zero threat to Google dominance is a to code red total war. Okay, extreme. Google does not have the permission to innovate. Innovator's dilemma. I think that means something like Google's so big, they it's hard for them to innovate. Um, opportunity. AI is a new type of platform and new type of computer. Sure. All that being said, we are now watching a Microsoft Google war. Okay, let's call it. Let's say it like this: Microsoft Chat GPT. Sorry, Microsoft plus OpenAI versus Google. That's the war, tech, big tech war of 2023. But here's here's the reality. I don't know, I, I'm not making a prediction, but it might be a, a separate tool or just chat GPT that just gets better. Uh, but I don't, I just can't see a big player being the big innovator here. Um, like there's so many tools being released every day with this technology. Um, well, let's see where it goes excited that there's going to be some competition um so yeah you know i i'm not going to judge google by sundar pachai's twitter but when he's talking about ai it's just not that exciting um yeah uh, uh, what was that last one uh android never mind okay um yeah okay let's uh let's let's keep going google ai yeah, let's go through this let's see is there anything even happening that's exciting i mean it's, it's not that it's not exciting but for consumers you know this google assistant thing uh this is not it just it just reminded me i wonder when that's going to come out because that's or it, it might already be out i think anyways uh so Andre Car Carpathy, uh, the gentleman I was referencing earlier, has been putting out YouTube videos that I just, you know, put college courses to shame. You know, how to build ChatGPT in two hours. That's a pretty, it's a pretty futuristic type of video that I don't see why anybody who's into tech programming or engineering wouldn't want to watch that. Um, so pretty exciting i'm following his twitter i would recommend it okay so shout out to ai breakfast this twitter account is really good uh i'm learning so much from them they're posting so many good links um they tweeted this today uh about uh boston dynamics you know we've all we've all heard of boston dynamics those the robots uh but man the timing of robots and ai it's a little scary i mean they're you know, they're doing some complicated stuff here. Um, I think at the end of this video, the robot literally does a flip. Um, so, you know, what I love about this account, they're, they're trying to connect the dots on where the future is going. Robotics, AI, programming. Um, yeah, there you go. Like, it's pretty scary and, and exciting, like what a robot can do. Um, they link a lot of, uh, I love this tweet right here. What a coincidence that Microsoft's reportedly closing in on a $10 billion investment with ChatGPT. And then on the same week, two weeks, laying off 
five percent of the workforce. It's it's the illusion here is hey is um <laughs> is AI replacing jobs? Up to you to determine. Um, they link a lot of tools, uh, lots of cool gifts and videos. So I, I would definitely recommend following this account. It's not fluff. It's real cool nerdy stuff. <laughs> this is a uh, I don't know if any of you have seen this, but this is the the big meme right now. Chat GPT three to four. Here, let me uh, chat. For parameter wise and the size of the uh, those circles uh, here you go and so people are memeing it like this is the amount of parameters that OpenAI chat has uh, and this is what supposedly chat GPT 4 is gonna have so that's the amount of data we're messing with with chat GPT versus 4 and so uh, um, that's what this meme <laughs> you'll, you'll see this probably around uh, if you're uh, following the uh, nerdy circles like I am um let's keep going uh okay so let's talk about some tools that i and some websites all right so i stumbled upon this it's called prompt base okay so the new i don't i don't want to call it a buzzword i think it's just the new definition is prompting prompting being what you type into chat gpt what you type to create an image um and i like this word called prompt engineering because you need to know the proper words, proper order, how to ask things to get what you want. So for some of you who don't know what Midjourney is, Midjourney is an image creating prompting service. So um, I, have, I have videos in my uh, YouTube about Midjourney specifically. If you want to get an idea, I go a little bit more in depth. But um, on this site, uh, they mainly sell Let's do some of the most popular prompts. Uh, they sell Dolly prompts, and they sell Mid Journey prompts, and I know they sell ChatGPT3 prompts. Uh, and like, let's click this one. $2 for a Hacker News viral title generator. You know, basically, this is just gonna be the text for it. That's it. But I don't know, if you are someone posting uh, a hacker news t uh, post every day this might be worth it for you I, I don't know I don't know who this person is that would buy it but um, you know I think it's getting bought um, uh, let's do mid journey because that's the one I'm most familiar with like um, <laughs> let's see let's do something kind of complicated but it, yeah I mean okay here we go like what would be the prompt here it looks like cyberpunk ish looks like you know gory looks like futuristic you know how, like what are the words you know this is actually a lot harder than you think to try to reverse engineer the words here to get this image i've spent a solid four hours trying to get like something to work it's kind of harder than it sounds because you want it to be perfect and it's hard to get perfection on these it's it's good to get 90 percent greatness but it's hard to get the 100 percent perfection so i think a site like this is cool it is a bit of a cash grab like um but uh just thought i'd share like hey you can make some money if you're making some cool prompts um so yeah uh so and that will take us to Mid Journey. Mid Journey is the image creation um, Discord uh, where you can create images uh, if you haven't seen it. Uh, this, in my opinion, with what's going on in the imaging world right now, I would say Mid, Mid Journey is probably the um, most exciting uh, and easiest and most wow factor. When you show someone Dolly 2 or some of these other image creations, it's not that wow factor. It is cool. But mid-journey, I've never seen it's the fastest, besides ChatGPT, it's the fastest like reactionary wow to, 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 to people who aren't in tech, to people who are in tech. Um, you know, this is just probably one of my favorite tools. And I almost want to call it a killer app. Um, ChatGPT would be considered a killer app. 
that changes the game for the you know the world. This isn't a killer app, but it's a pretty pretty exciting real application that brings real value. Uh, and heck, just it's fun. It's really fun. Um, all right, let's see. So those are some of the tools uh, I talked a bit about. GitHub Copilot, uh, and you've seen on this channel uh, me use Replit. Uh, I haven't used the Ghostwriter t yet, but it's GitHub Copilot in uh, Replit. So just exciting to see uh, um, more integration of tools in your code. Um, the cycles of work is just getting faster and um yeah that, so that that's that's uh that's what i had today um uh, that i wanted to share um so if you guys like videos like this uh i could do it every month i could do it every week uh every day would probably be overkill i'm not learning that much but like you know i'm pretty into it and uh yeah let me know so take care